Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Geetika and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm talking about a problem that most Indians face, pigmentation. From age spots to sunspots and then frustrating melasma and post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, I'm going to cover it all. But before I begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out any of my videos. Alright, let's get to the basics. What basically is pigmentation? Well, it's your skin showing the play of colors, thanks to a pigment called melanin. Melanin is a substance that gives your skin, hair, even your eye the color. But sometimes this melanin can get a little out of hand, leading to various types of pigmentation issues. Generally, you see Indians have more melanin, which means more pigmentation. That's because the amount of melanin in your body depends on a lot of factors, like genetics, how much is the sun exposure, your skin type, and your ancestral population at hand. But that being said, pigmentation issues are not exclusive to any specific ethnic group. Now let's talk about types of pigmentation. Pigmentation is an umbrella term which can include many subtypes, and each subtype can arise due to various factors. First up, we have hyperpigmentation. Well, this is when certain areas of our skin become darker than the surrounding skin. You might notice freckles, sunspots or even those dreaded post-acne marks. It happens when melanin production goes into overdrive, often triggered by sun exposure, hormonal changes or even skin inflammation. So your age spots, sunspots, liver spots can come under this category. On the flip side, we have hyperpigmentation which is when area of your skin loses the color and becomes lighter. You might have heard of conditions like vitiligo where patches of the skin loses melanin. Thirdly, we have melasma or what we call as a mask of pregnancy, also called as cloasma. It is a common pigment problem that affects many pregnant women due to hormonal fluctuations. But guess what? It can also happen to men and women during the menopausal time. So sunblock is your BFF here. Prevention is always better than cure. Then there is post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation which is directly related to acne. When pimples heal, they sometimes sleep behind darker spots. This is called PIH or post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. Okay, so now you have understood that there are different types of pigmentation issues. Let's tackle the big question. How do we treat pigmentation issues? Unfortunately, there is no one size that fits all solution. But modern dermatology offers an array of options to choose from. These could include creams, topical creams, chemical peels, laser therapies and even microneedling and like I've always said, prevention is the key too, so sunscreen is always the go. The first step treatment is topical treatment. Over-the-counter prescription still topical products can be effective depending on the type of pigmentation that you are facing. They can work on sun, spots and PIH but melasma is tougher to treat with topical treatments alone. But to fade appearance of any pigmentation, you should add ingredients like hydroquinone, kojic acid, arbutin, vitamin C into your skincare routine. They work very well to stop overdriving the melanin production and with time promote the skin brightening. Topical retinoids also has a very very important role to play. They improve the appearance of pigmented areas over a period of time. I always suggest taking a two-part approach to the skin problem. Do your skincare at home and then complement it with a professional treatment. For pigmentation, you have different options to choose from. But remember to take the advice of the doctor and not book a treatment blindly without consulting the doctor first. So the pigmentation, the first option is chemical peels, where a chemical solution is applied to the skin, causing the top layers of the skin to peel off, revealing fresh, new skin underneath. Peels can be of different types, salicylic acid peel, glycolic acid peel, yellow peel, which are effective in exfoliating the skin and reducing the pigmentation. Second, we have intense pulse light laser, which is also called IPL. It's a non-invasive procedure that uses high-intensity light to target the melanin. The light energy breaks down the pigment, allowing the body to naturally eliminate it. IPL is particularly effective in treating sunspots and redness associated with PIH. Third is laser treatments, another common treatment for stubborn pigmentation issues. Different types of lasers such as Q-switch laser and fractional lasers can target melanin without causing damage to the surrounding skin. These lasers can be highly effective in treating deep pigmentation and stubborn sunspots also. Fourth is microneedling which will also boost the collagen. It involves creating tiny micro injuries in the skin to stimulate the collagen production and improve the texture and tone. Some examples of microneedling treatments are fractional CO2 laser or even Morpheus or Dermapen 4. 
I generally like to add PRP or mesotherapy which are cocktail solutions for improved healing. If you're still facing pigmentation issues, talk to your doctor. Get the necessary blood work to understand what is the reason behind. Is it hormonal or general? Your doctor after the assessment would prescribe medications or even for more severe concerns might even suggest you some treatments. An important aspect in treating or preventing pigmentation is sun protection. It is so crucial in protecting your skin from harmful UV rays which not only helps in the treatment process but also prevents further darkening or existing pigmented areas. I would suggest also wearing a sunscreen with sunblock protection SPF 30 or 50 minimum even on cloudy days. Try the double sunscreen method in which you apply a sunscreen the mineral sunscreen or chemical first and then on top you apply the tinted sunblock and then reapply the sunblock every two to three hours especially if you are spending the time outdoors. Seek shade during peak sun hours which is 10 to 4 o'clock and additionally you can also wear protective clothing like wide brimmed hats, long sleeve shirts or even sunglasses. Other than sunscreen as prevention always choose sin care that is suitable for your skin type and concern. Study the ingredients that you are using. Do a patch test always to make sure that you don't irritate your skin. Use products that are gentle, hypoallergic and preferably without any fragrance. Be consistent with your routine. Try to stick to three steps every day, which is cleansing, moisturizing and protecting. Don't ever pick on your pimples because that can also lead to PIH. Stay hydrated, eat a diet which is rich in antioxidants, probiotics and whole foods. Also manage your stress levels and exercise regularly. In case of any hormonal issues, don't hesitate, get them treated. That's all for today's pigment packed video and I hope you enjoyed the chat today. If you have any questions or want to share your own experience related to the same, drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already and ring the bell for future updates. Until then, take care, keep glowing, bye.